What's up guys, it's me Skylar. Happy Thanksgiving. Today, I am going to be telling you guys what I wish I knew before starting gymnastics. Make sure to follow me on all my social media, like this video, and subscribe. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. The first one is kind of funny, but it's true. You will not have normal hands. When you get into gymnastics, your hands will become calloused. You will have calluses on your hands, even on your wrists. And when you go to meet someone and you shake their hand, they're gonna be like, ew, your hands are disgusting. Who even are you? And you're gonna be like, well, I'm a gymnast. My hands have calluses on them. And there have been plenty of times where I have had crushes and they're like, ew, are you a dude? What happened to your hands? And I'm like, I'm not that weird. I just do gymnastics. Don't think of me as some monster. But you just have to prepare for this, you guys. You're not gonna have normal hands, but that's okay because you cannot do bars without calluses. I'm serious. It is so painful. The second thing is that the hours increase the higher the level you get. So in the beginning, you start off in like recreational classes, level one, two, three, and then you move on to preteen. When I was in preteen, I started off with nine to 12 hours a week. And at that point, it felt like, oh my gosh, I'm doing so much gymnastics. But as I progressed and I got up to team, it became 15 hours a week, then it became 20 hours a week, then it became 25, and then at one point it even was like 28 or 32. So it gets crazy, you guys, and you have to prepare for it. You have to know that it will take up most of your life and most of your time. You're not gonna be able to do a lot of the normal things that your friends do. That just comes with the sport. It's gonna be a lot of hours. So the next thing, I wish someone told me this when I first started in gymnastics, Competing is like learning a different sport because competition, it's like you're ready for the meet, but there's like a whole bunch of nerves that you never had before. And you also have adrenaline on top of that. You're like a bag of nerves and then you have adrenaline and then you're like, I'm about to compete. I'm so nervous and I'm gonna throw up on the judges table. Getting good at competing takes time, you guys. Some kids, they compete, it doesn't even phase them. Other kids, it takes them a while. For me, it took me some time. I was pretty nervous at competitions. In the beginning of my gymnastics career, I didn't really know what a competition was. And I was like, why are these people getting medals? Like, are they VIP? Like, what is going on here? But then, as I started caring more and more about my gymnastics career in like level seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to focus for this competition. So, focus on competition and make sure to write down your goals before the meet and get into your zen mode. This one is so true, you guys. You will become a perfectionist. I don't care what anyone says, every gymnast is a perfectionist. When you are doing skills every single day and you feel like, oh my gosh, that one wasn't perfect, or oh, I didn't stick the landing, it just becomes a routine and you're like, no pun intended. It just becomes this cycle of I have to make it perfect and you will become a perfectionist. You just have to realize that being a perfectionist, yes, it can be a little bit annoying at times, but it will help you with your gymnastics career and it honestly helps with the sport because who wants to do gymnastics and fall all over the place? No one. A gymnast equals a perfectionist. True that. So unfortunately guys, injuries do come with this sport. Luckily, I did not have any traumatizing injuries. I had little wrist and elbow things here and there. You have to realize this before you go into gymnastics. You have to prepare for those doctor visits. You have to prepare for pain. Luckily for me, I did not have a lot of pain as a gymnast. Some people wake up in the morning and they're in a lot of pain. I did not. I was very blessed. This is part of the sport. Make sure to be safe, but just realize you're gonna get injuries. It happens. So gymnastics is expensive, okay? This sport costs a moolah. So with the leotards and the competition fees and the training, all of that combined is a lot of money. So make sure to save up and when you're ready to compete, realize that I have to save up some money because I do not want to go into that meet broke and I'm not able to go to state, regionals, or nationals. So I'm telling you right now, save up your money if you want to do this sport. <laughs> Here's a real one, you guys. Your coaches will be tough on you. That's all I'm saying, okay? I know that coaches are tough because they want you to get better. And you can't be one of those people who are like, oh my God, they told me to point my toes, I'm so sad. No, they are trying to help you. They're not insulting you. They're not trying to hurt your feelings. They're trying to make you a better gymnast. So going into the sport, you have to realize, 
I am going to be coached, I'm gonna have to be tough, and I'm gonna have to be mentally strong if I wanna become a great gymnast. And lastly, you will learn lifelong lessons. This is so true, you guys. Gymnastics prepares you for life. That is a phrase I stand by. Anything that you're gonna do in the future, gymnastics is harder than that because all of the hard work and the mental game, all of that prepares you for the workforce, prepares you for motherhood, prepares you for college. Like, there's so much that gymnastics prepares you for and you don't even realize it. I'm so thankful that I had this sport in my life and I personally think gymnastics is the best sport to put little kids in. I think it is so great for the mind and the body and I'm very thankful for it. And it's Thanksgiving, so I'm thankful. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like it, subscribe to my channel. It's free, you guys. And follow me on all my social media. Link down below in the description.